Okay guys, I'm now joined by former WBO lightweight champion Terry Fleming and Terry Adu. I'm good mate, thank you. It's good to hear. You've obviously just had your new fight announced with Morris Okay. What do you know about him? <laughs> uh, not much really, just the videos what I've seen of him. He looks tall, ranger, can punch a bit. Uh, yeah, as soon as I come to terms with his range, I'll be alright. I was say, it's probably one of the first times you've been in with someone who has that high advantage on, on you. So how do you deal with that? Cause I mean, my style of boxing, it don't really matter whether he's short, tall or my height, it don't really matter. So, yeah, as long as I get my boxing right and start to get my boxing off on the night, uh, I'll be alright. What are you going to be looking to do differently now that you've, you've made that decision to move up in weight? Nothing really. Also, I've got to carry my speed. My my skills a bit there anyway. Uh, yeah, fast hands keep my footwork and yeah, just the only di the only difference in me moving up is that I'm uh, going to be able to train a lot harder because I'll be bigger and feeling stronger. What was it? Why, why did you decide to move up now? What what was this the right time for you? It's just the the right opportunity. I mean, to fight Hooker for the vacant title. I mean, Hooker's a good fighter, but there's other fights out there. Someone wants to win this. See massive unification fights like so it's a Garcia, uh, people like that. Now, as I mentioned in the press conference, like the Uruguay Linares and obviously Vasil Lomachenko, which one would you prefer? What would be your ideal year if you could plan it out now? How would it work out? Yeah, just to be a world champion and defend it against the best, really. I mean, them, them fights, Linares, uh, Lomachenko are all good world class operators and the fights I want, I want to test myself against the best and I'm confident in my own ability that I can beat them. Frank mentioned that he wasn't keen to give you Lomachenko just yet, what was that? I think Frank sees him as the best Lomachenko, I mean, <laughs> yeah, although Frank's confident in me, he thinks it's not the right time to be fighting him, but I just feel like if anyone's going to beat him, it'd be me, some of my style, like tall, can box, good good footwork, southpaw, I just feel like I can uh, beat him, yeah, but like I say, Rigondo was a lot, about, about that eye, a lot smaller than, I know he didn't cause him no threats, but someone of my eye, southpaw, my work rate, skill set, I could, could cause him problems, and I believe in my own ability, so yeah, I think I could beat him. What were your thoughts on the Lamachenko rigondo fight? I just didn't know what was going to pan out, it'd be too big to, uh, too good for him, so yeah. I mean, same might it'd be a different fight, but a few years back, but yeah, still uh, the fight went how, how far it'd go. Technically, Lomachenko is one of uh, the best fighters in the world, technically, um, in terms of his abilities. How do you deal with that if you used to fight him? How do you work a, a game plan to deal with what he's so good at? I just, I just box me, I just do what I do with that bag. Steve, we pick a few things, what we're going to do, and yeah, we'd, we'd stick to them. But yeah, like I say, it's, it's different to you getting there with them, and then things work, some things don't. So yeah, I'm just confident that I could beat him, and if the fight ever did happen, I'd be confident to have gotten there. Before there was also talk of a possible or Manchester clash with uh, Anthony Crawler, is that still something that we could see? I doubt, I doubt it now, it's looking less and less likely, I mean, with me moving up now and um, him still at that weight, when we, it was more likely to happen when we both had a world title for an all-Manchester <coughs> unification fight, but it didn't happen, so, yeah, I'm not too fussed, I wish Anthony all the best in his career, because he's a top wider, sure he does the same with me, and, yeah, I'm not, not too fussed, it's not, not, if yeah, it, if it would have come off. off, If it would have come off, would you have been like, you know, would you have liked it to have happened? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's what, what people want. I want to give the fans what, what they want to see, and that's all people was talking about. But it didn't happen, so there's no point in crying over it. And you also got uh, Billy Joshua Saunders versus Martin Murray. What are your thoughts on that fight? I think it's a, a good fight. I mean, it's not as easy fight as people are making out on the internet. I mean, I looked at a few comments saying it's an easy fight for Billy Joe. It's not an easy fight, that. I mean, he has to be 100% on it, focused. I mean, it'd be easy for him to, after that Lemu performance, to think it'd be a walk in the park. If he does that, it'd be very wrong. So, yeah, Martin brings it every time. Every time he's been beat, he's been half world champions in close fights. And I think it could cause him problems if Billy's not 100% on it. But I think when Billy's 100% and he's boxing, he'll beat anyone in the world.
After the masterclass of a performance from Billy Joe against the Mew, um, there's obviously that talk of Golovkin Canelo. If, is Billy Joe the only one in the middleweight division who you think could beat either one of those two guys? I do, yeah. I mean, I think boxing skill wise is, is a level above them. It's just the other side that boxing is more about not just, just about skill, but mainly it is. And I think skill wise, he does beat them, yeah. And in football terms as well, you must be enjoying life at the minute with City just getting to the Carlin Cup final and Carlin then top of the table as well. Yeah, they're playing well, they're running away with that at the minute, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a City fan, so I'm always waiting for them to slip up. <laughs> it's just uh, our nature, but yeah, we're going well, strong at the minute. Hopefully, we can keep this, this going. Do you get much of a chance to go down to the games? Yeah, I'll go all the home games when I'm, when I'm not away at like training or something like that. But yeah, I'll go the home games. I was going a few few away games when I went in camp, but I tend to stay away from them when, uh, when I'm in camp. We just touched on you, you're in camp now. How have you found adapting to a new, a new regime to get to the new weight? It's no different. I mean, the, the weight's the same as it. It, it would be at this point on lightweight, so yeah, it just tell it just show more like like Steve was saying four, five, six weeks before when my weights don't have to be as low, I'll be able to perform better in the gym. What's the biggest difference is that you've noticed in yourself though since moving up, since you made made this decision to move up in, in training? Nothing really, like I say, I'm just at the weight I'm usually training at now anyway. I always feel good at this weight and bigger, stronger, better. So, yeah, nothing really. I think it'll show closer to the fight. Right, Terry, thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Would you mind retweeting? Sound, mate, of course. Thank you.